This week, My TV Roadshow is coming to you from two counties, that's Hertfordshire and Essex. We'll be investigating the new in Harlow Newtown and putting a whole new meaning onto it on your bike. We'll also have a couple of regulars along, that's Terry... Um... Terry Underhill, if you want to go and do it. He'll be seasonally adjusting his mower, and as Michael Payne, he'll be checking out the baby boom down on the farm. And that's the memory man, Dominic O'Brien. He'll be with us too, so join us this week. <laughs> Well, the action's unrelenting here on Wire Pro Box Golden Gloves. Already in the ring, hard man from Liverpool, John Smith. A wealth of experience against, this time, Charlie Kane. 7-0 and zero as a professional. Commonwealth Golds gold medal. All the way from Clyde Bank. Hand you over once again to MC Alan Hughes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, will you now welcome into the ring the former European and Scottish ABA champion, the Olympic and Commonwealth Games gold medalist from Clyde Bank, Charlie Kane. over six three-minute rounds. Introducing first in the red corner with the red shorts with eight wins and six draws from 58 contests. Four inside the distance from Liverpool, John Smith. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, his opponent in the blue corner with those gold shorts with an impressive seven wins from seven contests. Four inside the distance from Clyde Bank, will you welcome Charlie Kane? <laughs> At the way in today, a Smith scale 10 stone 4 and Kane 10 stone 3. Your referee for this contest, Al Hutchin, and your timekeeper, Eric Gilmore of Glasgow. Ladies and gentlemen, six three minute rounds. Well, this is a six three-minute round contest, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing Charlie Kane here. He had an, an incredible amateur career. Um, in it, he won the Commonwealth gold medals. He's done everything as an amateur. Bit of a slow process as a professional. He fought a couple of times each year. But uh, looking forward to seeing him. Tommy Gilmore says he's now got a hold of him, and he's going to keep him active from now on. He's a southpaw. He's tall and he's awkward. And uh, you know a little bit about this guy. Paul. Yeah, I know. I've trained a lot with Charlie. He's the few problems when he turned professional. He's got all that under his belt now, and I think we can see a big jump up the range from Charlie. His opponent, John Smith, uh, this guy's fought everybody. He's fought Robert McCracken, the British light middleweight champion. He's fought Great. Billy Shure, the British lightweight champion. He's fought Colin McMillan, the former world featherweight champion. He's fought everybody. 34 years old, always in good condition, and a vast deal of experience. These guys have fought before, Paul. Yeah, they fought down... Uh, Bradford or Doncaster before uh, November last year and Charlie beat him in points but I think Charlie will be looking to improve in this one tonight I'm sure he will in front of his hometown crowd here and he's not actually from here but he's not far away and uh, he's got a great deal of support here and he'll want to win inside the distance I'm sure this is a 16 minute round contest Charlie picks his punches very well Yeah, he's, a, he's not the most attractive guy in the world uh, with, with that southpaw sort of laid-back style, but no doubt he's got tremendous power in that straight left hand that he throws. And uh, he picks his punches very well. He's always he's a difficult guy to fight, very difficult indeed. Look at that right left hand landing really well there. He's landing some heavy shots just now, Barry. Yeah, he's pulling the pressure on, Paul. What Charlie's wanted to do now is just work behind that jab and pick his left hand again. Because he seems to be teeing up with his jab and landing with the left hand at will. Yeah, his left hand in particular, his straight left is working really well, really, really effectively. He's a very observant chap. He's got the concentration on him. He yeah. just, he's a, he never takes his eyes off his opponent. He's, you can see by his face he hasn't been hit that often. 
if you watch the way Charlie boxes, he doesn't take a lot of punches. He, he, hits, his, he hits his opponent, and then he gets in and closes the gap down. Yeah, he's, uh, his hands are very high, and it, he's got very good defense. And, oh, that's a good left hand. It's ominous looking left hand, straight down, right down the middle of John Smith. And John Smith has eaten. Look at the state of his face. His face is, his face is almost a match for his trunks now. It's very red, and he's uh, taken a lot of hard shots in this, the first round. Key's okay, just moving him up for the left hand again. Smith just doesn't know how to cope with this guy at the moment. And I'm glad to see that John Smith is wearing the badge of the Professional Boxers Association on his trunks. And uh, I, know the left hand. I know that Paul Weir is going to wear it next time. <laughs> Good round. Good round for Charlie Kane. Well on top there. Done everything right. I don't think he took two punches throughout the rounds. And his, his punches were very accurate and well delivered. Paul, this is some good work from Kane here. Well, you can see Charlie's just teeing him up with a jab and landed there with the left hand. What Charlie seems to do is, once he's hit Kane, uh, once he's hit Smith, it just seems to shut the gap down all the time, and Smith can't seem to land a clean, a clean blow yeah, he, on Charlie. He's getting, he's getting up too close, and he, he should be hooking more, really, Paul, shouldn't he? He's, he's delivering those straight punches really well, but he should... He bangs in the right hook once, but he should be doubling up on those short yeah. hooks because he's got lots of leverage in his punches. Great Goals, balance. Ten seconds. Yeah. Seconds out. Round two. And Smith is just... you got to try and back Kane up because Kane's got the, the advantage in reach. And the only way to... To win against someone like Kane, said, to back him up, put them on the retreat, and don't allow them to take the centre of the ring. Because once he takes the centre of the ring, Kane, he's got control. He's in the driving seat. He, he can turn the pace up, slow it down, do whatever he wants to do. And he just landed a beautiful right hook there a minute ago, uh, Barry. Yes. He's doing all the good work here, and, and there's no doubt John Smith has taken a shell. I can. He's got to fire something. Pretty heavy to get a bit of respect from Charlie Kane because the pressure's too much from him at the moment. Good work from Kane. Well, now Kane seems to be working in with the hooks in close. Yeah, this work up close is really good. He's he's throwing lots of fast punches. He's well on top here. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand. John Smith's legs give a little bit of a twitch there. When you watch, Charlie just seems to tie Smith in. When they're in close, he just seems to tie him up. He can't do nothing. Yeah, well, with all Smith's experience now, that's a good left hook for a good right hook from Smith. He landed a good shot there. Another left hand there from Kane. And they say two southpaws don't make a good fight, but these guys are proving that wrong. This is good quality stuff from Kane, and, and you know, fair play to Smith. He's been hurt a few times here, and he's not holding on. You think his experience would allow him to, to be able to hit Kane with more punches, but he just hasn't been able to do that. This guy's a difficult guy to fight. That's right. Charlie looks a more experienced of the two in there. When Charlie was behind his jab and tees him up, he seems to land a lot of clean punches like there. Yeah, he's really starting to plant his feet now and deliver these punches with real power. He's digging his heels in and punching really hard. And Smith is in trouble here, and there's no doubt about that. He was hurt with a couple of good shots, and he's, he's taking a steady hammer. Charlie's best punch seems to be his left hand when Smith's coming in close. Good work from Kane again. He should try the body a little bit more. You know, at 34 years old, John Smith, I'm sure, is beginning to find these rounds are 
really long. And followed back John Smith to his corner. Look at that face, it's all crimson red. He's taken a, a fair deal of punishment in the first two rounds here. Kane has been in control, Paul. Yeah, Kane, Kane's won the first two rounds in my cards anyway. He seems to be just manoeuvring him onto the left hand all the time, and it seems to be Kane's best punch. And it seems to be the punch that's hurting Smith the most. Yeah, he's left hand in particular is working well from Kane. Here we have a, an example of one. He just throws him off there. Jab, miss with the left hand there. But it seems to be his best punch. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round three. Start of round three. Kane's won the first two in my scorecard as well, Paul. And he's well on top here. In my opinion, he could stop Smith tonight. Well, Smith's taking a lot of heavy shots. And I think once he starts to tie on, Charlie picks the shots. You know, I think they're going to be hurting Smith. I think they're already hurting him. If he could work the body a little bit more, he'd take the wind out of his sails. He's banging that body very hard indeed. And, you know, John Smith, he's had a vast deal of experience fighting a lot of good men, but that all takes the wear and tear on the body. And, you know, some days you can turn up and it's just not there anymore. That's right. You cannot, when you watch Charlie, Charlie seems to catch Smith every time coming in with that right hand lead. And there's a, there's a lot of power in the jab as well. Well, John Smith has got a good tight defence to the head, but his body's open, and especially right through the middle there, he should be trying yeah. to land those body shots. And Kane is repeating the same combinations all the time. Now, if you can hit a guy with a straight punch, well, then just keep doing it, but he should try and vary it to work the body as well. Smith coming back there himself. He's trying hard now, John Smith. Yeah, well, John Smith's a trial. can see where Kane is superior in all these departments. He just doesn't have a great deal of power, Paul. He needs to work on that a little bit more. And he's, if you watch him there, he's leaning back on that left leg instead of leaning forward. That's something he's going to have to try and develop in the gym. He's leaning back a little bit much. Yeah, I agree with you there, you know, because Smith could catch him off balance. Yeah, and, and you know, if a guy leans back like that, you just follow on and you throw a double jab and follow him with a right hand or a left hand in Smith's case. Kane doesn't seem to be using his left hand as much in this round. No, he's taken a bit of a breather. These are three minute rounds and he's been fought at a good pace. He's worked very hard in the first two rounds, Kane. And he hasn't been able to, to shake Smith too badly. He's hurt him, but he hasn't been able to shake him too much. And he's probably just taken a round off here. Well, he's working some body shots in there, but he's not putting a lot of power in them. He's got to, yeah, he's got to sort of pivot over a little bit more and, and lift those body shots in. What you do is you turn the, your hands to the ceiling and then, oh, that's a good left hand from, from Kane. It seems to be the punch that turns it every round. No doubt about that. He's using that left hand really effectively. Great accuracy with it too. Kane taking a round off here, just taking a breather, bouncing around and just giving himself a little rest. That's John Smith is one tough guy. See, Kane's forcing himself up on top of him. He doesn't need to do that. You know, Charlie wants to get a bit of distance because that's when he seems to be landing the heavier shots. Absolutely. He needs to keep his distance a little bit more. He's sticking his tongue out here, Charlie Kane. Doesn't need to be that rude to Peter Harrison. Again, again getting the better of the exchanges, Paul. Yeah, I guess when he lands that left hand, it seems to turn it in every, every round because it seems to uh, trouble John Smith that punch. That's the one that he's persistently hitting him with. He just needs to try and vary his attacks a bit more and try and get a bit more weight in those body shots, in particular, Charlie Kane. And, you know, he hasn't been very active over the last couple of years, and I know that Tommy Gilmore is going to keep him busy. Continuity is what it's all about in professional boxing, and uh, he needs eight. to be busier. Round four. <laughs> you see, 
actually Smith coming forward and edging forward, trying to land his own left. Cain, as he has done from the first round, just pulled his head back there, didn't get hit. He doesn't take a lot of punches, Charlie. Well, you can see that by his face. He's definitely a good, good defensive fighter. Remind you a bit in a way of the old uh, Dick McTaggart style of boxing. Dick also was a southpaw. Good work from Ken. See what he done when he got up closer. He just wrapped his hand over John Smith's head and stopped him. Punch a good left hand again from Charlie Kane. Kane just seems to sway out the road of the punches every time Smith throws them. Yeah, that's reverting back to his old amateur days. Unfortunately, that's something that's going to be hard to, to shift from him with his style, but it's worked from him as an amateur, and he's doing it again here as a professional. He needs to just try and lean forward as well when he's... That would add weight to his punching power. But it allows him... This style of boxing allow, allows him to take a round off. Paul. Yeah, he seems to be out working Smith just now in this round. This is when you'd like to see Charlie bringing them up. Yeah, in close like that, he needs to just lean his weight forward a bit, especially when he's punching. He walked onto a left hand there from Smith. But uh, needs to lean forward a little bit more. Instead of leaning on top of him, he's just put himself a, a little bit more distance between himself and Smith and just lean forward and whack in those body punches. Really rip them up. He doesn't seem to be landing with many clean shots, Smith. Kane just seems to tie him up every time they're in close. Yeah, he's adept at, at tying them up, Charlie. He's uh, he's boxing really well on the outside, and when he gets up close, he just stops Smith working, grabs his hands, puts his hands in uh, underneath Smith's hand, wraps his arms around his head or whatever, just stops him working. Kane just wants to work behind the jab again and find the left hand. A vast deal of experience as John Smith. He's fought almost 60 contests and been in with the best around. And, you know, if you look through his record, there aren't many stoppages there. He's got a tremendous chin. He always gives guys a good fight. But again, this round, down to Kane. Yeah, he's very tough, John Smith. Charlie Kane, as an amateur, has won everything on a Commonwealth Games gold medal. Boxing the quarterfinals of the Olympic Games, he was beaten by the eventual gold medalist, and uh, he is, uh, no doubt about it, he's got an impeccable record. As a professional, he has uh, a number of problems and, and hasn't really fought continuously. He's been a professional now for three years. The crowd tonight is just incredible. I mean, they, they love the boxing up here, and, and the atmosphere has been electric the entire way through this contest, with these contests, in particular with the local no, guys. Charlie lives a fair, fair distance away, Paul, doesn't he? Yeah, he comes from Glasgow. So, uh, Seconds out, round five. I'm not as enthusiastic about Cain, but they've given him good support. Good snapping right hand from Kane, using that jab well. Good, tremendous boxing ability, Paul. No doubt about it, he loves to stand off guys and outwit them, outthink them, and outpunch them. Yeah, Charlie just likes to stand off and do a lot of counter punching. He just seems to sway back and then come back with his own right left hand. Yes, indeed, he, he, he's, he's boxing superbly well here. Oh, beautiful left hand, see what he done there? Doubled up the jab, Smith walked straight in a straight line back into the corner, and he just smacked over that left hand. Kane's just waiting and Smith throwing a punch so he can throw the counter punch. 
Uh, he, if he's going to wait on Kane, he's going to be waiting all night. Kane's out boxing him, and he needs to. Oh, beautiful right hook from Kane. That's good stuff from him. Smith is his only hope is to get his head moving and stay on top of Kane, force him back to the ropes, and that's not an easy thing to do. Well, he's not going to outbox Charlie. What he's going to have to do is try and pressure him. And Charlie's just controlling him round about the ring. Yeah, he's got to put the pressure on, but he's just not able to handle this guy. Kane is boxing brilliantly at a distance. Well in control. Looks like it's going to go the distance again, Paul. Kane just lacks a little bit of punching power. He's landed with some clean punches here, but he's not doing enough to, to really hurt John Smith that badly. He's got a great chin, John Smith. I think Charlie's needing a few hard fights like this just to get him on his road. Yeah, he needs he needs this to get rid of the ring rust. Good punches there from Kane. Gonna make me eat my words. He has Smith on the ropes and throwing pretty heavy shots now. You see the way Charlie just sways to the side whenever Smith comes in and then ties him up. guys are tired, in particular John Smith, he's, he's absorbed the silly beaten throughout this fight. You know, fair play to him, he hasn't gone down. He's taken a lot of heavy shots. Good left hand from Kane. Very, very quick with that punch. But Charlie's dictating the pace of the fight, and that's why he's on top just now. And he's controlling Smith right about the ring. There's no doubt about that. It's, uh, that's another good round for Charlie Kane. He's winning this one by a, a wide margin. You know, John Smith, if you look through his record, he's fought everybody in the British Isles, and, and uh, if you look through the record too, you won't see too many inside the distance defeats. He's fought Robert McCracken, he's fought Billy Shure, he's been in with them all, and, and uh, he's an incredibly tough guy. He's 34 years old now, and, Eventually, these tough fights take their wear and tear and effect on you. But he's putting up his usual tenacious performance here. There's a good, good left hand again from Kane. Is most of these shots are all well, powerful shots are all the left. Let's example Three right jabs. Hand. He went in behind and then landed with a left hand. Exactly, and, and the Smith gives eight. him a smile. A grin, an indication three. that he's hurt. An excellently fought contest and good sportsmanship throughout. But total domination, as far as I'm concerned, by Charlie Kane. Yeah, Charlie's boxing very well, controlling the fight. I think there's a cut over Charlie Kane's left eye. I seen him just wiping his eye there with his glove. No, oh, indeed it is. It's quite, quite a nasty looking one too on the left eye, bro. And the blood dripping out. It's on the edge of the, the line, the edge of the eye, and it's good job. It's the last round, and Smith trying to get his hands free to do some more damage. I think Charlie's just going to have to stay behind that right hand and keep Smith at bay. All he's got to do now in this round is just to stay off. And uh, I didn't see whether it was a clash of heads there. I think it may have been, or it may have been a right hook from, from John Smith. I think it was actually a clash of heads. It was right at the beginning of the round. Just at the beginning of the round, there, as I say, it's a good job. It's the last round. All Kane has to do, he's way out in front here. All he's got to do is stay behind that jab and keep out of harm's way. Get back to his amateur boxing style of sort of jab and move. Jab and lean back and stay well away. The referee obviously hasn't even taken him aside and had a look at that cut, so it's obvi obviously not too bad as far as the referee's concerned. But there's plenty of blood, blood around, Paul. Yeah, there's plenty of blood around. I don't think I don't think the cut's anything to worry about. But I think it's Charlie's first cut, and he's probably just a bit bored about the cut. All he has to do is stay behind the right hand.
Every time Smith comes in, Kane just ties him up to the referee shouts break. And it's the right thing to do. You see the way Kane just uh, sways to the, the left-hand side of Smith every time he comes in and ties him up? Yeah, he's good at that. And he's cut here, so he's just got to be careful. He doesn't even need to be up that close. All he can do is step back out, keep his, those long, gangly arms between him and Smith. And just stay at a long distance. Well, he hasn't really taken a punch in this round either, Kane. It just seems to be a lot of when they get in close. Well, he hasn't taken a steady... I don't think he's taken a clean punch throughout the fight. He's been hit with a few, but nothing of any significance. And that's a complete and utter domination by Charlie Kane. And uh, I've only given John Smith a share of one round. So I'll just give him a little tot up here. Good performance with Charlie Kane. This is the sort of stuff that he needs, Paul. Yeah. Well, I gave, I gave Charlie Kane five of the rounds, and I thought they shielded the last round. Ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting for the referee scorecard, your appreciation Maybe a for share both of boxers, John Smith and Andy Davies, Charlie Kane, ladies and gentlemen. So I've given it 60, 58. And ladies and gentlemen, the referee Al Hutchin has scored the contest 57 and a half to John Smith, 59 and a half to Charlie Kane. Kane is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the same, the same scoring, but slightly varied. And I want Charlie Kane. And you very good news, uh, John Smith. And a tremendous performance for John Smith. Gutsy performance, well done. Well, Charlie, uh, Fast Emerge is one of the top light world to weights in the country and another good win. Take your record up to eight and zero. A repeat points win. Did you feel this one was any easier than last time? No, I, um, I think that the last fight I found a, a wee bit more easier because I just went to him from the beginning in the last fight and that seemed to, to work for me. Whereas I, st I stood off him here and tried to box him a wee bit more, but I don't feel it worked, to, worked as good as the last time, you know. So it's back to plan B then, obviously. You got a little bit of a nick in that cut, in, in that rat fight. It was caused by a punch, by the look of it. It wasn't a clash of heads. Let's have a little look on the screen when this injury seemed to happen. Talk us through this one. I think it was the left hook that, that, that done the damage. It caught my eye. 